This is a 98S10 with a 2.2 liter manual transmission. And it has a problem with dying intermittently and not starting up for 10 minutes or so. Now, some of the symptoms is the, the lights all come on in the dash and the gauges reset. And that is likely because of the ignition zero circuit in the ignition switch is bad. It runs the gauges and part of the ECM. So we're going to stick a new switch in there. This has the key in lock cylinder alarm button and a security system plug-in. This is an AC Delco part. I don't recommend using aftermarket part in this area. The first thing I want to do is disconnect the battery cable. Now that the power is unhooked, from the vehicle and took the negative battery cable off. Let's take these seven millimeter screws out of this trim panel on the floor. Let it hang down. There's one, two, three, four of them. Five. Now that that's hanging down, take these two screws out of this plastic vent cover. There's one end of the plug-in I'm going to be after. I took the six screws out of this knee bolster panel, including one holding the interior light which was a short one compared to the other ones and it's just got some clips got it snapped in there just kind of jerk on them a little bit I got access to this steel Reinforcement plate. There's four 10 millimeter nets holding it on, two on each side. Let's take them off and drop that plate out of there. Drop it down. Cook over there, it's catching. Just drop it down under it. Next thing I'm going to do is take a T25 Torx bit and take the two Torx bit screws out of this cover. They're just short T25s. And then snap the cover out from underneath the steering wheel. It's got hooks in the back. That hooks it to the top cover. They're open up like a clamshell and just drop it out. And it's just snapped together in the front. Have to work it around a little bit to get it dislodged. Set that down out of the way. Now there's an E5 inverted Torx bolt. I'll have 
to be taken out here. This isn't a tilt wheel, but if you had tilt, there's a arm that sticks back in here and you just grab a hold of it and pull it out and tilt the wheel up and down as needed to get these covers off. Now that the bottom's off, just fish the top piece off. Make sure your key switch is in the off position. Start taking these wires off the lock. This security system plug in. Just push on this tab in the center and lift it up. Key in lock alarm button. It's got a little leg on it that locks it in. Compress that down and turn it out. stick standing up keeps it from turning okay the wires are off of that lock has two little springy heads it's keeping it retained up in there they just collapse so I'll take a screwdriver Stick it in, there's two slots there. Just take a little skinny screwdriver and push in on the one side and kind of pull down on the plug end and push on the other side and remove the plug in. Take a pair of side cuts and cut whatever zip ties are holding it to the steering column, except for this. This one releases. Let's go press the head of it down and fish it back in to the hole. Cut this zip tie. Do not get into your airbag wire with anything sharp. This yellow is bad to be fooling with. And then I'll cut this zip tie off this sheathing. Usually two of them on it. Just keep in mind in general where the zip ties are. This one's going through a hole in the steering column holding it. And the sheathing's down on the bottom next to the plug in. Just be sure not to cut any wires. All the ties are cut. This harness is free and clear the rest of the system and go down to the plug in there's a seven millimeter headed bolt holding it together it's red looking take the same seven millimeter you took the trim cover screws out with Just keep unscrewing it till it unplugs. Sometimes it needs a little help to be pulled out of there a little bit, especially if it's not square or it's a plug in. It's got two side plug-ins on it 
this is the original without the two side pieces so we just stick a flat bladed screwdriver and release the notches that's holding them they slide right up out of there after you push these notches in I'm straightening the bends in the wire harness some down the length of it let's leave this one where it goes into the lock cylinder area and slide the switch over the knee bolster plate get it down in position to lock these pieces back in you can't mix them up so as long as the little tab locks are facing the inside you can't go wrong they just drop down into the top of it knock on down Now hold this plug in square and start threading the screw back in. Make sure it drops down into the socket square, not not tilted. Now that the plug in's assembled, go ahead and plug it into the connector back there just hold it square take a seven millimeter and start tightening it up tighten it down till it bottoms out Make sure it's not crooked or anything. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick it up into the plug in space provided. So the lock in's got a gear drive on the end of it. But these have to be timed, otherwise, the switch will be on all the time, or it won't turn off, or it won't start. Because this years at a time it won't reach one or the other of the switch positions just move the lock all the way to battery and turn the switch back to battery and stick it in there turn the switch all the way back to accessory works well Or pushing it up in there until it locks on. Once you hear the clicks, you're there. Should have a good full turn on it. I might recommend changing the lock cylinder too while you're in here because this is about to have it. Good pull. Swing on. It's installed. You should feel it good. Good swing to accessory. If it just gives a little bit, it's probably out of time. Here, it drop in. If 
and this is a reinstall of the wires on the key lock okay got the pass lock sensor wire try not to damage it let's plug it in it's a lock facing forward I have to bend it in the shape of the lock And then this key and switch button for the alarm. Just drop it in, turn just a quarter turn away from it. Make sure your key switch is off. Push it flat and then turn it so you hear the click. It should be straight up and down now. Turn the switch off. And hook the battery cable back up. Test the function of the switch before I go buttoning it up under there. I've opened the door and the key and switch alarm's going off. And turn it back to accessory. See if the radio comes on, and it does. Okay, so that's off. The key's out, or the key in alarm's off. Okay, that's the first setting to on. And some of my clusters lighting up as it's supposed to. On the first turn, and if this is a, if yours is a standard, this one is a push clutch down and get ready for the one after this. There's ignition, everything's on, stereo's on again, and Bump the starter once. It's good to go. Security lights out. It's your damn business. I just need to route the wires back the way they went. Zip tie through this hole here and through this hanger and put the sheathing back on the lower part and zip time back together and put the metal reinforcement brace back in and a knee bolster back up and then the lower panel should be in business Looks pretty good. Sure you at least some slack for your airbag wires. Drop the top shroud back on here. Now the bottom shroud got hooks on it to catch on those so it'll be fished behind this and then hooked on and pulled up to it lower piece got the hooks on it Get it around that rubber grommet Let it hang there and put the reverse torx bits bolt back in the top piece and snap the cover back into place and put the 225 torx bits back in the lower cover. 
Okay, there's the three screws are back into the cover. And the middle shield's back in place. Now the knee bolster. Okay, the floor covers stuck in there. Mount the interior light with a short screw first. And the hole provided. The light faces down. Just a screw up through it. Then put the rest of the screws in this lower cover.